Let's jump into Perfect. the video. Perfect. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Jark Customs, also known as Austin Torma. Today we got a great video for you guys, a little tutorial how you can transform your swoosh into any swoosh that you would like. There's going to be a lot of information on this um, video today. I'm going to be talking over some of it and I haven't made a YouTube video in over like 8-9 months. So sorry for that. Let me show you guys what we're going to be doing in this video today. So I'm going to be turning this Air Force One into to this. So sit back, relax, get some snacks, and let's get into this video. Holy shit, Ryan. 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 Perfect. All right, first things first, we're going to be prepping the shoe. So that is the most important step that you got you cannot miss. Uh, prepping the shoes will help the paint bond and also it'll keep your shoes durable. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start painting. In this step, I'm actually using leather dye from Angela's Direct. Um, this will, this step is important to me because it will help the paint bond better when you lay it down. So that's why I like doing that before actually painting. Now when we start painting, uh, we're going to do even light coats. So you want to do it all the way around the shoes and you want to make sure that you are doing as much coverages as possible. All right, next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the swoosh. In this case, it's not gonna be a swoosh, it's gonna be a lightning bolt to represent the warriors. So first, what you wanna do is you're gonna lay down your tape so we can actually sketch out the design. Holy shit, Ryan. Perfect. When you take the picture, it's on a flat surface so you can get even coverage when you're taking the picture. Now, the steps when I'm creating the swoosh is I'm going on an app called Procreate. Uh, Procreate is an app where it has tons of tools, um, tons of procedures for artists like me and yourself. But this will help create anything that you like. So as long as you um, do the steps properly, you'll be creating something dope like this. So. Um, now what I'm doing right now is I'm sketching out the design. I lowered the op opacity down so I can see where I'm drawing at and then I can do it on a different layer. After all this, you wanna make sure you cancel out the background and make sure you save it as a PNG. There's not an option for SVG or anything like that, but PNG is the way to go so you can uh, properly save it and make sure that you can um, design it properly in cricket. Now once you open cricket you want to upload the image and as in this case I saved it but you'll go to your photos and then you'll select the image and then you'll save it. Now we're gonna fix the size. Uh, I remember I measured it around seven inches, so I did uh, about seven and a half, just in case I have to cut some areas off. Next, you wanna upload it to make it. You wanna make sure that the, the vinyl that you're using, or in this case, we're using leather, is properly on, this, on the area that you want it to be cut. So in this case, I did that. Now we're gonna go to the material set, which I picked leather. And now we're gonna upload it. And then in this case, we're gonna let the Cricut do the rest. So I did have a good cut from my Cricut, but then I had to go back with my exact knife to make sure I cut every single piece out of it. 
All right, now we're gonna be painting the bolt, or in this case, the swoosh. So you wanna paint it just like you're painting shoes, leather, you wanna prep it, light coats, light coverage, and make sure it's prepped properly. Enjoy this little unmasking ASMR real quick because it's very satisfying. So now we're gonna place the swoosh to our um, desired area. In this case, I am gonna be using cement glue. Uh, you can also sew it if you have a shoe sewing machine or a little mini one before you apply the glue or um, sew it on the shoe. But um, this will help it adhere onto the shoe as best as possible. In this case, I am going to be gluing it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually masking off the areas where I want the glue to go at. When you're using vinyl, you wanna make sure you apply it smoothly and also use a heat gun or an air dryer. In this case, it'll really get a strong grip on the shoe and you won't get any overspray. Check that out, man. It's so smooth, so great with the gradient. I can't ask for a better touch to the shoe. So I decided to do some of this other stuff off camera just because my camera was dying and I didn't want the film or the uh, YouTube video to be very long. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I did give you guys a lot of information. And before the video wraps up, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down what you think. If you can share this as well, it'd be great. It's really gonna help the algorithm out. You can follow me on all my social media platforms on IG, Twitter, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Jar Customs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please enjoy these last couple clips of the finished 